Hello and welcome to the final episode of The Way. When we last left off, I basically spent quite a large amount of time clearing out all of these enemies and really, really wishing that I had the battle off mode, because this took about half an hour to just clear the enemies out in this area and also the one in that area. And I just realised I need to get back in the water again, so... Blah, 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 blah. But either way, they're done. There's a few that, um... I basically did all of the enemies up until the point I was at. So, the enemies are still there, as you can see. But all the ones here are done. I opened the chest up and have already absorbed the piece of wickite that was in there. We have notched up all of our items, um, other than the one main men's stone and obviously all of our heart stones. And also, Midian has leveled up. His stats are now slightly increased and he has slightly better skills. Unfortunately, all this means we now have to go back here and fight some more enemies again. So, what we shall do is we shall go through here and flip open the switch which opens that gate. Then, now that that gate is open, we can now go back round. And progress. Thankfully, and this was one thing I was worried about up until the point I checked this, the enemies do not respawn in here. There are certain occasions in this and also, as you've seen in previous chapters, where enemies do. With that battle system... I am fighting you. With this battle system, I'd rather not have that. And as you can see, now they've made them slightly tougher. I will tell you right now, I hate these bloody flies. The amount of effort I put in to try and get skills with these flies around beggars belief. It really does. But anyway, let's go and kill this fly off. Don't need to really go for Hurricane Cup, but we might as well as long as he's not going to absorb my XL life, which he will do to Midian, thankfully. Hurricane Cup. Hopefully that'll kill the fly. Nope, not quite. And that does though. So now all out attack on this last guy. And unfortunately, yes, this chapter is now going to be a bit longer. So well, this bit is going to be mostly me fighting through the last of the enemies. Honestly, it would have taken a whole video to have cleared out the um Oh actually I'm close to death here. Uh concentrating assault. Mega Slash. 25. Number 78. Midian's out. Oh, I'm not going to have to... Dang it. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight that again. Right. So that's annoying. In the meantime, we're going to concentrate on assault and get these skills up early. attacking. Yeah, that, that's annoyed me. That's the only time I've had to do that in quite a while. Oh, that's the thing that annoyed me. There's a group of four of those. You can't get any skills off and you need skills for that group because otherwise it takes quite a considerable bit longer. Hence why it's taken at this long to get to this stage. Annoying bite didn't work. Let's just draw this time. We're gonna keep up healing up as we can. We have at the very least now have a light mend. And Midian does have um, a couple of abilities should he choose to use them. If I was actually thinking about that. We'll go light mend there and you can use your mega slash. Option four. Midian takes more damage, double attack. You're not that tough, come on. There you go. Victory's ours, and guess what? There's loads of these people. Sword Aura's not quite done yet, so we've got to keep on with that. Yeah, Alright, there's not that many of them. We'll finish these off. Alright, one of them on his own. We can deal with that. don't even need to mess about with this, I can just keep constant attacking him. He doesn't do enough damage. 
Harmless for attacking the end. Small, annoying, really annoying fly next to him anyway. Really hope I get to a safe window and I'm going to sort this out here. Because there is, there is a lot of grinding there. Right, we've now learned moderate mass mend. We, infer, we have, for the convenience of... Um, wait, you dodged me. For the convenience of the number of spaces on our skill list, and believe me, we're going to have loads of skills by the time we're done, we've learned moderate mend and moderate mass mend. Both of which are useful enough to keep. And we need about another 200 ish or. Oh, there we go. So I we have one of those. Actually, what is the crit rate on. Sorry. Crit rate on this weapon is 5%, so, yeah, D20. On the plus side, it's almost done. In here we find Suki 1. And I think we've now cleared out all of the enemies at this point. I believe there are some later. If we go put the Suki into the door up above here, I believe then we can use the thing in there to open the grate and move on. Fact? Yes. Piece of wickite. We'll all attach to wickite, because might as well. That's locked. Oh, thank god. Right. The metals are off now. And I'm just going to check something, because they do now have a circuit, but we didn't actually... I must have used it there. Ah! This did cause the enemies to respawn. Right, so they do respawn there, but only once they've got up to the point here. And the, the area up here is one area where they do respawn, so... They're a new type of enemy, but I'm not too bothered about seeing them just yet. I want to get the, um... Hatshar leveled. 525, there we go. Right. See, now he's got an XL gain of 2. Now it actually has some relevance to something. Uh, we'll go... We'll go A and slow for now. Alright, 6 and 36, we're quite absorbed. Well, we'll get an opportunity to fight these people a bit later. We really will, so... Into here. Number 8 CTP. CTP. Yep, a bit more. And we shall save. And let's go and see what we've been killing for a bit. Where are you? You. You, sir. Uh, Lofters. Um. What do we get? So the strike is, hits a single enemy with Cosmo damage. We don't particularly want that. So it's fine. And the important thing is, we're now gaining Axe Life. Well, we were gaining Axe Life, now we're frozen. Uh, concentrate to Assault. Go hard slash on that guy. 106. Right, lost focus. Come on. Unfreeze yourself, Rue. Yeah, this is not looking good. Um, go have another hard slash. One down. Right. Solo strike. Not that impressive, overly. I have to be honest. Uh, what have you actually got? Disconcert. Nothing poised, but Midian has fallen, unfortunately, so that's the end of him. Come on, Rude. Right, let's hope the hurricane cuts. Hurricane slash works, because otherwise I've embarrassingly lost here. Yeah, it worked. This chapter really becomes a grind. It really does at times. 
Uh, well, we've seen some enemies. We're not quite at where we want to be, really, so... Yeah, three hard stones. I'll keep those if I can. Let's just go kill these and um, continue developing our aura points. Whose companions have gained a level? Midian learns the Mega Slash he already learned. Okay, fair enough. He's learned a skill he already has, so I'm willing to accept that. Alright, so now we're back out here. The enemies up top have respawned. The enemies down here will have respawned as well, I should come to that. 5 CTP, 25 aura points. And a few more. I'm just checking whether there's anything actually here. Does not appear that there is. See, this chapter is so huge and there's so much in it, I could not claim to know anything about whether all the items are here or not. Right, let's talk the battle back on for now. Save. Altair Manor is just ahead. It's been quiet there for a long time. There are some strange men have been happening the place for a while. Yeah, let's be careful. I don't want to be caught off guard. Alright, so strange haunted house. What can possibly go wrong? Well, to start with, let's just see if there are any items. Which does not appear that there are. Well, the game's not being stingy, it's just decided to put all the items inside the... Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Hang on. And around here, then. Nope. Well, it's decided to put all the items inside the house for now, which is fine. I know I'm saving again, but I am paranoid. This place is not nice. That's locked. And that way's locked as well. Up here, we see two chests. Heartstone, that's heartstone number four we got, and five. So we're going to absorb one of those heartstones, giving us four total. And that way's locked. I get the feeling we're being plot hammered a bit. Fokite, I have no objection to absorbing Fokite at any time, so that's fine. Is there anything actually through here? That's locked and. And that's locked. The mansion opens up a little later. Pokite and another Heartstone. Oh, there we go, it's fine. I think we have a ridiculous number of Heartstones at the moment. And that way's locked and leaving just this way. And that's locked. Locked and here we go. Here is a boss room and Sacrifa. Uh, random demonic chanting. More random demonic chanting. More enthusiastic random chanting. Need a little help, if you wouldn't mind. Right, Gashima. Okay, pretty much we're just gonna draw. You're going to go into concentrated assault mode, and then we have a healer. Dear God, we have a healer. So basically, Sacrifer is now our healer and will pretty much just continually draw and then cast healing spells as needed. Rue will just keep attacking, as will Midian. Sacrifer will keep drawing. Madai, we resist that. We'll now go for a hurricane cut and see if that'll work on him. In the meantime, let's see if we can harm his poise, because that might be possible. And attack and attack. It's fine now that Sack has got 12. I think he doesn't need too many more X life. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Okay, we have a Hurricane Cut in reserve. He should come out of prone this turn. No, actually, he didn't. Critical hit, 97. Alright, he's really not coming out of prone. Uh, 
No, I think... Ah, oh, there we go. Right, Hurricane Cut then. We have two of those in reserve. It, it's a ridiculous move, really. But unfortunately, in some encounters, it is very much needed. So I already have another two in reserve if he comes out of it again, which he probably will. There we go. He is dead. Hurricane Cut saves the day again. 5 CTP, 80 aura points. We've now gained the final defensive auras. I ask who you are, but it doesn't really matter, does it? At the same time, I'm curious as to why you are here. I came here hoping to find someone. Sorry, but I'm the only one here. What about you? My business is my own. I see. Strange circumstances to meet under. I don't imagine I've met either of you before. Yes, but I know who you are. You do? You're Sakufa, leader of a guide in Estrana. At least you were until the revolt. You even saw what happened to your wife. That's not quite correct. Hmm? You see, technically I was part of the revolt. That's right. I said something about that. All of his forces were responsible for the violence in Estrana and the death. No, the murder of my wife. <laughs> Burn them. Why do you revolt? Because I believe in truth. Thus, I could not follow Tetsu. The truth is not in him. I doubt it ever was. I thought the purpose to answer my call when I found out that Pontifex Maximus Tetsu wanted me to take charge of the guided effort to officially secure Estrana. I thought to do so in order to use as a base of operations for future guided operations. Tetzel assured me it was the will of the purpose, and I had his blessing. Retaining control of the city was difficult undertaking, as a vigilante council was trying to move in and seize the city for themselves. I quickly realized that if I succeeded in occupying the city, I would have time to search for a cure for Lila. So how was it that the guided and vigilante came to rule the city together? It was the quickest and easiest solution I could find. I made concessions to Zedicus in order to resolve the situation and remove and free myself to pursue a cure. Tetsu was not very pleased with me, but he was too busy with another project to do anything beyond scolding me, though, through messengers. As things settled down in the city, I began to work to find a cure for Lila. The year passed, and nothing I tried cured her. I pleaded with a purpose for help, but no answer came. My heart was so grieved that I decided to seek help from another, the Lord of the Pits. I tried to summon him, but only succeeded in drawing up one of his letters. Unless he told me to dig a tunnel deep into the pits. The Lord Below would only bargain with me face to face in his own domain. So we began to tunnel into the pits below Astrana in secret. It wasn't very long before we found something very strange. A discovery that would eventually change everything for me. What was it? It's an underground city, of course. All evidence suggests that Guided had delved into the pits prior to my arrival. At about the same time, I was ordered by Tetzel to begin circulating propaganda about a silent murderer named the Phantom Slasher. There were many existing stories, and I simply exaggerated them further. Tetzel never gave me any explanation for this order, but it was obvious to me that he was trying to delay the masses for some reason. I did as he ordered and continued digging into the pits, hoping to save my poor Lila. But somehow, someone found out about Lila's disease and their connection to me. And after they slaughtered her, I summoned the horrible beasts from the pits. Strana was devastated. You did that? Yes. Now I left the city to join the rebel guided against Tetzel at the end of the way. Something happened before I got here, and now I'm here. In the way. I still don't understand it. But maybe because it's something that Tetzel created. What do you mean? I can't quite explain. But there's more. What's that? Perhaps it may very well be a creation of Tetzel as well. What? The way is not what it seems, that much is certain. The fact that we are here in this place is evidence enough of that. What should we do? I mean, the answer lies at the top of the arm of Estrana, or the Phantom's Blade, as many people here call it. Great, let's go there. Problem is, the tower is sealed off by a shielding aura that I have not yet figured out how to bypass. Wonderful. But I know someone who might be able to help. Who would that be? His name is Joe Pega. He's very knowledgeable about auras. If anyone can help us, he can. Referring to, but is he even around here? That's the problem, I don't know. I do. I've had minor dealings with him before. Don't know where he lives, haven't seen him in a long time, but he used to be a regular at the scene. 
If anyone else were to find him, it's a man cutting dice in the works of the sea. I've heard he knows everything about everybody who reprints the scene. Good enough for me. Now let's proceed. You coming, Midian? Yeah, I'll tag him on for now. So now Sacrif has joined us, and we now have a proper healer in the party. Albeit a much weaker one than, um... Actually, his will's about the same as ours, really, so... The man has good a magic user. Again, glare at that mirror room. Glare at it. And over here we find a drop, drop stone. Now, we're, surprisingly, we're not actually done in this place just yet, but I'm going to save here. Oh, how did I miss that? I'm going to pick a piece of wick right now. But we are not quite done in this place. I don't know when it triggers, but... Alright, might be when we leave. Was that? This manor is an evil place. Let us depart from it. Yeah, but that, but what was that laugh? The laugh of a jester. I thought he was sealed away, but perhaps we have done something to awaken him again. What does this jester have to do with this house? Was it his home? No, but he once served the family that lived here. It'd be well if we never encountered him. And that is all I know. I must depart from this wicked place. Even the side is too great to face, I fear. If we go back to the sewer and the house, there should be a teleporter to take us back to the surface. Well, you say all that, but we're going to enter anyway. Now, you will notice enemies have appeared. Let us see if we are a match for them. Hmm, lots and lots of things. We'll go widespread and we will go drawing. Miss 24 evades, okay. Attack. Midian can now go prepare a red storm, so he can attack and attack. Right, hurricane cut away. Plus a red storm, plus. Uh, you know what? Just keep attacking. Alright, no prones this time around. They're virtually immune to that, and obviously. They're going to be reasonably immune to the, um... Imagine they're reasonably immune to the, um, bleeding effects as well, them being spirits, but... Uh... Alright, just keep attacking. Rather than trying to work out what kind of attacks they're using, we might as well just keep going with this. Storm, and we need a heavy mend on Midian. Okay, so that's just boosted all of their defense. We'll get another hurricane cut up because we might as well. Another red storm, and we need to draw. One down. Yeah, it's not very effective, red storm, I'll be honest, but. Let's see if this changes things. We have moderate mass mend. Okay, fairly useful. All out of then. Down to just you. Dark fire only affecting one of us. Triple slash. Sacrifice almost out. Uh, might as well Typhoon, actually. Uh, moderate men on yourself. I don't know whether they still get experience if they're knocked out, but I'm probably going to bet they don't. My boy, Poltergeist 1 defeated. And that's 46 aura points for that. So we can toggle the battles off now that we've beaten one of them. Get a few things absorbed. Okay. And a drop stone. Right, I'm gonna save here and next time we face the jester. Until then. <laughs>